Welcome to the case study resilience simulation of RIMS, where we will explain how to load, run, modify and provide guidelines for develop of RIMS for resilience simulation tool. Before proceeding, it's recommended read the user's guide or see the video about how to use this tool in netoplan.com. To sum up, this tool simulates the network operation where failures in links and nodes randomly appear according to the user defined availability information of the net of the network nodes and links. Allows testing, built in or user made provisioning offering that react to failure reparation events from an initial network design. Network and service availability results are collected and reported to the user. So, in this video, we will develop provisioning algorithms and failure reparation event generators. First, open it to plan. After open it to plan, click on tools and then open the resilient simulation window. In the execution controller tab, we can load an event generator and a provisioning authority. But before load authoring, we need a topology with traffic demons. So we click on this button and select a N2P file included in net to plan as examples. In this case, we select this network design and click on open. Before load both offerings, we will explain the SRT concept. The simulation is based on the SIR risk group SRG concept. Uh, SRG is a set of links and or nodes that are assumed to serve a potential cause of malfunction. Thus, when this malfunction occurs, all of the elements in the SRG fail simultaneously. Users can define the SRGs in the network. For each SRG defined, the mean time to fail and the mean time to repair information is provided. The event generator is in charge of generating SRG failure reparation even while the event processor receives single node link failure reparation events and can take some actions like reroute traffic or restore primary route. So, it's possible the event processor receives more than one event per SRG. So now we are going to load both offerings. So click on Execution Control tab and in Failure Reparation Event Generator sub tab, click on Load button and select the a jar file or a class file. In this case, select this jar file included in Nectoplan and click on Open. And in this drop down list, we select this uh, event generator. We can view here its description and these input parameters for this authoring. And repeat operation with the provisioning authoring. We click on load button, select this jar file, click on open, and then in the drop down list, we select for this uh, video this. Alpharim, MPLS fast root Alpharim. We can see its descriptions and this Alpharim doesn't have uh, input parameters. After that, the next step will be run the simulation. But now we will modify these two Alpharim that we have loaded. So, in order to create or modify offerings in Netoplan, a Java programming environment must be set up. Any Java integrated development environment can be used to create offerings or reports, and we choose Eclipse Suite in this example. Obviously, Eclipse, Java Runtime, and Java JDK version 7 or above must be previously installed and configured in the system. So, run Eclipse. After run Eclipse and select a working directory, this window appears. Now we are going to create a new uh, project. So click on File and then New on Java Project and introduce a name. For example, Resilience uh, Simulation. 
and click on finish to run properly the external libraries of Netoplan must be included in the user's project so open its properties by right clicking in the project and click on build path and then click in configure build path now here on uh, we click on add external jars and in the lib folder metal plan application we select these all libraries and click on open also we can attach the source code of the java doc for each library by clicking this button and here introduce the path for the source code and the java doc path and click on ok and here in reference libraries we can view these libraries ok now we are going to get the code of the two algorithms we can get it in two ways one downloading it from Netoplan website or copying it from the jar included in the application we are going to apply the first op in netoplan.com in code repository section we can view many examples of offering and if we go to resilient simulation section we can view the failure reparation event generators and the provisioning offering so select the failure reparation event generator and we can view if we click in this uh, link the code for this offering here and by right clicking here and we click on save fast and save this offering in Eclipse folder simulation source folder and click on save a repeat operation with the provisioning offering we go to provisioning offering section and select the MPLS password root offering and by right clicking save fast eclipse folder source folder and click on save now in Eclipse, by right clicking in the project and click on refresh button, we can view the two algorithms here in the default package. By double clicking, we can view the code. It appears two errors about the package because uh, these algorithms are in Eclipse folder in another package so to clear these errors we are going to delete this line in the two codes and click on save and we have the two offering free of errors well now we are going to explain and modify the provisioning offering as we can see this offering implements the i provisioning offering interface that we can view it's contained in the library API Java doc in the website in the toplan.com again in documentation section if we click on library API Java doc we can view this interface here I provisioning offering interface uh, here we can view these uh, six methods that are implemented in this interface with its descriptions and its input and, out and output arguments. Well, first, this offering uh, has a get description method that returns this definition in the user interface. This offering implements a local restoration mechanism. In local restoration, it should try to restore upon a failure at the node immediately stream to that failure. This node 
which redirects the traffic onto the backup path is called the point of local repair and the node down the street where the backup path rejoins to the primary path is called merge point. These mechanisms provide faster recovery because the decision of recovery is strictly local. To understand better this uh, definition, we will explain some slides. So, as we said, this algorithm implements a fast reroute mechanism to reroute traffic when a link goes down. And it tests locally at the node which detects the downlink. In this slide, for example, node 4 detects the downlink. So the algorithm fix a very high cost to its downlink, in this case this link, and sets a new route from the local node to the destination node by applying the get shortest path algorithm which depends on the weights of each link. So in, in this example um, This offering finds a new route from node 0 to node uh, 3, but starting at the local node that detects the downlink, in this case the node 4. Again in the code, after this get description method, it has a process event method where first decides which type of failure has occurred, a node failure or a link failure. After that, a number of variables associated with failures in the network are initialized and using this function get failure effects, values for these variables are obtained. Then, in this loop, for each downlink, a high cost value is associated so that when using the get shortest path function, this downlink will not be used. Then, for each affected route, we obtain the node immediately upstream to that failure and the node downstream where the backup path rejoins to the primary path. And with this information, the link table the cost per link, the like current link avail available capacity and traffic volume, it calls this function, the get capacitated shortest path, to redirect the traffic using a new path considering the current available capacity on the links. If the route is not partially uh, recovered or there is uh, not a new path available, it calls the get shortest path function that sorts a new path without considering the current available capacity and links. After that, generates the new route, the traffic volume generated for this route and subtract in, in this uh, line the traffic volume of the capacity of the link associated with the route. Finally, generates the action of modifying the root in this um, line. If not of course any failures in this part of the code, the algorithm is responsible for repairing roots. For each repairable root, it sees if that root is revertible or not. Here, that is if it can go through the links before cross it or not. For revertible roots, it obtains the primary path for that route. It checks whether there is enough available capacity and if so, generates an action to modify the route as before on this line. And finally, it has the finish method that can return any specific user-defined metric about this offering the get parameters method that returns an MP link at least because this algorithm doesn't have input parameters and the initialize method to initialize the algorithm. So now 
we are going to modify this algorithm and the modification will be include the path recovery algorithm instead of fast reroute algorithm seen here. In the path recovery algorithm, when a link goes down, uh, this algorithm sets a new path from the source node, the initial node, to the destination node, also using the get shortest path function, but no starting from the local node where the link failed. In this example, in the node 4, the, the downlink is detected, but this algorithm generates a new path from the ingress node 0 to the egress node 3. Well, we can view here the code after include the modification. The get description method has been modified and now it returns this definition in the user interface and the main changes are in the process event method. And here in this function the get capacitate shortest path instead of pass as an argument the first available node upstream and the first available node downstream variables as before now we pause the initial node or the ingress node and the egress node of that route to search an alternative route without failure and that is the modification well now we will explain the exponential SRD failure generator but before we are going to rename this algorithm fast reroute modify and recompilation well this algorithm implements the i resilience event generator interface that we can view it's contained in the library API Java doc in Netoplan website as before. This algorithm has a get description method that returns this definition in the user interface. It says that this algorithm generates random failures in SRGs according to a random process with an exponential distribution with mean time to fail and mean time to repair mean values. After that it has a get parameters method to show to the user the input parameters of the algorithm. There is one parameter, the random seed, with this default value and this definition set for the random generator. In the initialize method, these uh, variables are checked and for each group of failure for each SRG in this loop, these two variables are generated using an exponential distribution. Here, this exponential distribution. These variables are used for generate the next failure event and the next SRG reparation time event for each SRG. And after that, to generate the new events, it calls this uh, it called this auxiliary function in the process event method. When a reparation even occurs, SRG reparation even, it calls the helper function to generate the new failure and reparation event for this SRG. And finally, it has this auxiliary function. As said before, this helper function is used to generate new failure and reparation events associated with uh, SRG using these uh, two variables, the next SRG failure time and the next SRG reparation time. Well, and finally generates the two events in these two lines and return the events. Well, in this case, the software will not be modified, but the possible modification could be vary the distribution function for the variables at period duration and then period duration SRG these uh, two variables that are initialized here and that obtain its values 
using this exponential function. So now back to clips to try our algorithms. In execution control tab, we are going to load this uh, both algorithm that uh, we have uh, shown. In failure reparation even generator, we select this exponential SRG failure generator without modification and the input parameter random seed will remain by default and the provision in authoring uh, we are going to load our modified authoring so click on load button and select in the clips folder in the bin folder because uh, net plan works with class or jar file and select this MPLS fast root modify class file and click on open. This authoring doesn't have input parameters so the next step is start the simulation by clicking the run button and after a few seconds this simulation control panel will be refreshed. So well we click on push to push the simulation and in the view current network state tab in the routes here we can view how routes are modified according to uh, failures so first enable this planning information and uh, we can view for example in this route the sequence of uh, the sequence of nodes for example and we can view how the root starting from the node 0 to node 6 and now the new root begins and ends in the same node 0 to 6 but without going through any of the link to the previous root so the path recovery algorithm is working well more information about this tool can be found visiting netoplan.com